Cyclopedia. Cyclopedia. Cyclopedia, okay, of the Colored Baptist of Alabama. Wow. So, I'm in Montgomery, headed to the Alabama State Archives, where I'm going to meet historian Andre Johnson. I know that the majority of Moses' story ended up okay, because I know that he had children, and one of them was my great-grandmother. So, he's a survivor. I'm sure that there are things of his experiences that he brought into whatever was next. We do have some idea of what happened to Moses okay. after he got out of prison. Yeah. If I can, if I slide you this. Cyclopedia. Cyclopedia. Cyclopedia, okay, of the Colored Baptist of Alabama. Wow. Morning Star Association, organized in 1874, is operating in Coosa and Elmore counties. Their membership is about 2,000. Leading men, Reverends L.W. Whitaker, Rockford, M.C. Crosby. Wow, this man. He was a pastor. Yes. And not just a pastor, he found the Morning Star Association. And what's this Morning Star Association? This will be a state organization of um, Baptists during emancipation. Freed men and freed women began to form churches all around the South. So in 1874, as you see, that when Morningstar was organized, one of the people that helped organize that, four years after leaving prison, was Bro Moses. Are you sure this is him? Because <laughs> it says M.C. Crosby. Yeah. What's the C stand for? That we don't know. But we, we double checked and, and it all him. lines up. Wow. And this association is important because it is also the political center of the black community. You gotta remember that black folk could not gather anywhere else mm -hmm. other than the church. Everything was off limits. Yeah. Matter of fact, if too many black folk got gathered you know, somewhere publicly, the police would show up. Right. Um, so imagine a place where you know you didn't have to worry about being called out of your name. You didn't have to worry about people denigrating you. Just a place where you could come and be a woman, be a man. That's what's just so beautiful about our people. Yeah. The faith. Yes. And the Morning Star Association, these state organizations, the forerunners to the National Baptist Convention, mm -hmm. where all of the state conventions became under this one big umbrella, and which, of course, that Dexter Avenue Baptist Church, since we are here in Montgomery, would be a part of as well. And Dexter Avenue Baptist Church, of course, gave rise to the modern day civil rights movement. Mm -hmm. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and gave rise, I will argue, also inspired the current Black Lives Matter movement today. Mm. You know, it's um, huge to know that your bloodline is connected to an activist yeah. in the 19th century. Yes. Brother Moses here, your great-great-grandfather, helped lay the foundation mm -hmm. that other people build upon, that we are still reaping the benefits today. It's pretty freaking amazing. <laughs>
And I just thought I shared the same last name as Dr. King. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew that it would go deeper yes. like that? Brother Moses. <laughs> wow. So Moses would have been 54 years old in 1874. I don't know how he did it. He just kept getting body blows. Yeah. Just, you have no idea how much joy mm. this um, journey has been and to put a pin mm -hmm. in this journey at this right. place is magical. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> it seems like using the word reinvention just is just too small of a description of this man's life. Perseverance is incredible and also I can only guess that Moses was one of those people that God put on this earth for a reason that may not be so obvious in the moment, but I feel it in my heart. I feel it in my spirit. More than anything, this experience is reigniting the desire to be a agent of change. It has kind of ignited this desire that I've always had to exercise my philanthropy beyond just giving money. If I'm just touching a few people and encouraging and inspiring a few, I'm following through on my responsibility as a human being. <laughs>